action. What are you doing, Papa? Working for once. I thought you painted signs. I scraped them off. Well, the scraping off business is picking up, Rudy. What can you do? What's an accountant? Something we will never need. You are very mistaken. We're just checking people's face. <laughs> Put a stranger in it. <laughs> Put a stranger in it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go again. I, I know I'm going to lose them after either this take or the next. <laughs> So, hi guys, this is the set. This is where you guys think when you look at the movie, this is the house, but no, this is actually, this part is the basement, and it's all made like of wood, so it's all different places in the studio. I'll show you a bit of the basement. Depending where we shoot, they take some pieces of the wall out, put it back in. So this normally where we're standing right now should be the kitchen, which is over there. At another place, I'll show you later. And then this is where we start sometimes in the scene. So we'll go to the basement. So this is the basement that you saw when we go through the movie. And this right there, or some of these, when we're doing one of my favorite scenes, the snowball fight, we were actually really throwing snowballs. And I had to hit some people and actually hit that, and it almost fell. So I almost destroyed one of their prop things. 
and then they would have been really mad, but it didn't happen. So this is a really interesting part, and I'm happy that today this the world the wall is up because you see it all the time as the basement, but actually when we're shooting, if we're shooting that like the camera's here and we're shooting here, the wall will be there, but if we need to shoot here, obviously there's not pl enough place because the camera's really big. So they actually take the wall out and they're The like ceiling is out. Scrub this one. We did a lot of crane shots, and basically, this shot was just crane shots all the time like zoom there, and zoom there, and then there, and then there. Yep. This is Jules camera, and he always puts it in a case, but when it's in the case, you can't focus, which makes bad pictures because I make true. really good pictures with Jules camera. This is also true. Yeah, and you got it. I got it. So this is his big case with his big old camera. Then you, here you can't zoom so good. See, it doesn't even take pictures. Oh come on, Jules! It doesn't even take pictures. Jules, this is not funny. There's a secret to it. Oh, there's pictures now. No, you're right. It doesn't take pictures. This is really awkward. No, you don't understand. You I want to take the pictures. It's ready. It'll take any picture you want. Great. 1.4 meters. Okay. So you got to remember. Just see what I can take. Just... Yeah, that's great. That's great. No, David, no, no. David, this is an old picture. Now, you join the shot. I want to take pictures of them. Wait, they make great pictures, but if you're there, then it ruins the whole picture. Great. Jules! Great shot of your legs.
21, take four. No. Hundred and sixty-five, take one. Hey Lisa here with a bonus movie factor in the early years of the Academy Awards, the organisation provided newspapers with the names in advance with the agreement that they would not publish the names until 11pm. Of course, then someone had to ruin it for everyone when the Los Angeles Times broke this rule in 1940, announcing that Gone with the Wind had won before the statue had even been handed out. It led to a rule change that stands today. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.